How good is this t-shirt? It is very good. I like it. It's a little more snug than you usually wear, isn't it? Yeah, or the wrong size. Okay. My mistake. <laughs> or did I get super fucking massive since we last did a video? Uh, maybe. I didn't. I've gotten smaller. I like uh, that outfit, though. Thanks. Oh, it's a shirt. Yeah. I think it's fun. I like the vintage and print. I like Void of Vision. So it's all good in the hood. Even though you're not wearing a hood. Damn it! You're a you liar. <sighs> Today we're checking out Royal Blood, Shiner in the Dark. <laughs> These the guys oh. copped some controversy. Yeah, what? I, I vaguely remember it. Didn't he say something and people just thought he was a total dickhole? Well, I get it. He was joking, but people were like not getting to his music and he joked about the fact that they all sucked and everyone was like, Rawr! but hey, if you're not moving and he asked you to move. That also happened with uh, Ronnie Radke recently when he said something about a crowd that were not getting into it and he's just like, and he defended it by saying, we come out here and we put on a huge show and set this huge thing up for you, like and with the pyro and the you know sound and all this sort of stuff and yoink. Oh, whoa, it just ran over there. It was a hair. And oh, I, was, I knew about it. Oh, okay. it's uh, yeah, and he was just like, if you're not sort of giving the energy back that we give to you, then I'm going to call you out on it. Sure. Um, I don't know, he's kind of notorious for being a bit of a provocateur, but yeah. I, I also kind of get where they're coming from. Um, and if this dude was just joking, then I think people just need to chill. That's what we should take yeah. away from this. Or they'll get a shiner in the dark. Not from me. It hurts too much to hit. We did that at my box. We did that punching bag thing. Mm. People were really bad at it. Mm. I don't remember if you did it. People were also drinking a lot. People, people had been like drinking alcoholic fruit tingles for like two days. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we've only done Royal Blood on the channel once before. It was a cool video. They were all like in skeleton costumes or something, dancing around. It was kind of neat. Uh, and neat. That's a fun word. Call it kind of neat. I like that. Thank you. Makes you sound old, but I'm into it. <laughs> well, if the shoe fits. Like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Love you. Three, two, one. Massive black keys. Oh, yeah. You want to do karate in the garage? It's basically the Step Brothers scene. Yeah. And I'm totally okay with, with it. The Black Keys inspired soundtrack. Yeah. Um, just watching the like breaking of the board and stuff reminds me, I did Taekwondo for many years and I used to compete in tournaments where like we do like board breaking competitions and stuff. Looking back on that, that's wild. Yeah. Like punching through tiles and stuff. Yeah, Dustin used to do it when he did uh, Kempo, and yeah. he was like six years old and punching and kicking through boards and stuff. And one of uh, my mates who actually went to the same place, he's a kickboxer and stuff, because <laughs> he was bored sometimes on site, he would set up, you know, bricks stacked up, however high, with roof tiles and just like punch through them and head through them and stuff. It, it's fucking wild. And I'm just yeah. like, does that not hurt? And he said, oh, not really. Cause you do you put a towel on top of anything? Yeah. 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 They do that to like protect the shards, but yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a classic. Jesus. Cool dude. Yeah. Oh. There's 
a lot of cool shit in this garage. Yeah, totally. That's fun. I liked that. The song uh, was fun. Look, I'm going to be honest. I paid way less attention to the song than I should have because the music video was so good. I and we've spoken that. about that before. Yeah. Uh, when something can be a little bit too engaging and captivating, but not go along with the song, so to speak, I find myself separating them. Separate them entirely. It's I think they the do a great system. job of sounding a lot bigger than a two-piece. Yeah, definitely. Like, that was, like, it sounded thick... And fun, again, Black Keys. I know it's a pretty easy comparison to make, but uh, I like the Black Keys, so that's a compliment. Um, but yeah, that was a really fun film clip, very nostalgic. I remember going to your, your old place, and there was just Nerf bullets fucking everywhere. My son has quite a big collection of Nerf guns. So, yeah, yeah, I was astounded by how many bullets were laying around. Yeah, yeah. If... I'm so glad that he's kind of over it and only gets them out every now and then when he wants to piss off visitors because he's got the fucking that's all battery the operated ones, ones yeah. that are just like two 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 like those things are fucking wild man um, true fun yeah have you ever seen the, those little like gel pellet guns yeah airsoft gel blasters yeah that's what we were doing at your box what did you not go to the gel blasters place oh yeah we had to. We <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> I wasn't even drinking. We literally sat there shooting them. They were great. Yeah. Uh, did you see the Deadpool gun? The Deadpool handgun? Yeah, I did. Oh, 600 bucks. I was so close to buying it. So I forgot I shot them. Because we weren't shooting them at anything apart from like a little target. Targets, yeah. But Court's cousin got one for Christmas and was just shooting like family members and stuff with them. Do they hurt? Yeah. Uh, they're okay. savage. Yeah. He's like, seriously, like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. If one like, of those fuckers get you in the eye. Yeah, that's exactly what I was like, oh, that's a game over. Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like a Nerf ball, it's still bad, but it's not as small. Yeah, those things are just hard, hard. hard. The first one we did at the Bucks, now, now I recall doing it, shot and it rebounded off a thing, oh, came yeah. back. I've got a few <laughs> in the cheeks. Like, oh. Yeah. Got to be protective here. Uh, you know what I'm looking forward to? What's that? Paintball with Polaris. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't yeah. watched our Polaris... Wait, no, that won't be on the chat. Will it? Yeah, it's at the end of that part. We're well, like, this is fun. Yet. What should we do next? Let's do paintball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did have fun with the guys. That chat was a very, very long conversation, yeah. and there is a lot more to come. It'll be getting edited in the next week. Um, but yeah, you should go watch that. We talk about the full album and Smack Talk. So, Yeah, it, uh, honestly, the, uh, the feedback on it's been really positive as well, and love the fact that... Like, it's had, for an interview, it's had a lot of views and a lot of engagement and comments on it. And I'm, you know, stoked that you guys got something out of it, that, you know, real sort of comfortable, open, in-depth conversation. Um, it was a really fun time. Uh, as for this, yeah, I'm going to go listen to it again because I was having way too much fun with the video. I like the tone of the guitar. I like the riffs. I like his vocals. I do miss when they were a little less fuzzy rock and a little bit more straight up 
hard rock. Okay, sure. Also, I've never seen him live, and I'd like to see him live because apparently pretty dull. Lol. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> he jumps straight now. Comments. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs>